Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my iPhone, iPad, Android app called Golf. Let's give this guy a little bit of help, see if we can get him swinging a little bit better. Certainly on the downswing and through the ball, he gets a little bit unstuck. Um, maybe a few ideas to practice next time he's on the range. Let's get stuck in. Okay, interesting swing here. Back swing is a funny one, as in it gets in a really good position at the top. It kind of puts it there a little bit, doesn't he? From the takeaway, kind of hands move out, club flips back, and then just kind of puts it there. But when she gets to the top of the back swing, I could almost send that swing to anyone in the world, kind of uh, of a pros or what have you, and they wouldn't be able to guess his handicap. It's, it's in a decent enough position. Now, impact, on the other hand, is very side on and forward thrusted, not very rotated on the way through. If I was to show that impact position and follow through to some teaching pros around the world, I think they would start to guess of higher mid handicaps to slightly higher. They could see some issues in striking on that. So for me, I really want you to, don't worry about the back swing. I'm sure when you look on your own videos that you take that this kind of quirky takeaway might upset you, but you get in such a good position up there, I wouldn't, don't change it. That just, that's just pretty pictures. For me, the fact that as you come in and hit the ball, looks like the handle wants to go up, hips thrust so far forward and you don't want to rotate, get in quite stuck follow through position would concern me on where your low point is as you hit the ball so before or after I'd imagine you do have a tendency to catch the ground a little first if you're not careful or well, certainly strike might not be the most consistent um, definitely a few ideas of trying to hit the ball and get your left hip right shoulder moving back a lot more for you would do no harm I know I talk a lot about moving to the left and stay inside on for people but there that's a thought for people who over rotate there's no danger of you over rotation for you it's much more of a kind of tuck under with your hips as you hit the ball so you need to actually think about putting maybe a bit more rotation in there so a couple of things you could do you could start by hitting some shots i've got a medium seven iron here just open stance so i've got my feet quite close together my left foot's way back from my right hit a few shots do your normal back swing but just feel how open you get on the way through um, as you do that, feel like you keep side bend in there at the end. So you've rotated. You don't want to be stood up. You want to have side bend still in there as you do this drill. You can see right shoulder lower than left as I've opened up on the way through because of the open stance. Uh, other things you could try and do is quite a simple drill. Just put the club against your shoulders here and try and open that shoulder and hips up. Just to try and get the face returning to over the ball here where it looks like it's pointing down the target line so get rid of kind of this delivery that's a great one for doing at home i've done other videos we're talking about practicing at home often is as good as hitting balls if not better for some people certainly if they're thinking about positions um, so certainly hitting some shots i'd like to see you try and do where you really open up a lot more hips and shoulders on the downswing a couple of those drills just to give you the feeling of what it's like to hit some balls opening up I think it will make a massive difference to how you deliver the club and maybe where your low point is and hopefully moving it consistently more forward of the ball to get that kind of downward strike a bit more with your irons, that better strike and hopefully hitting some much better golf shots. Hope that helps. Thanks for sending the swing. It's an interesting one that one. See that one quite a lot. Kind of tuck under, get your body opening up, rotating through. I think you'll find your strikes really do start to improve your irons, which hopefully gets you out there shooting some lower golf scores. Thanks for sending. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my iPhone, iPad, Android app called Golf. Let's give this guy a little bit of help, see if we can get him swinging a little bit better. Certainly on the downswing and through the ball, he gets a little bit unstuck. Um, maybe a few ideas to practice next time he's on the range. Let's get stuck in. Okay, interesting swing here. Back swing is a funny one, as in it gets in a really good position at the top. It kind of puts it there a little bit, doesn't he? From the takeaway, kind of hands move out, club flips back, and then just kind of puts it there. 
But when she gets to the top of the backswing, I could almost send that swing to anyone in the world, kind of, uh, of a pros or what have you, and they wouldn't be able to guess his handicap. It's, it's in a decent enough position. Now, impact, on the other hand, is very side-on and forward thrusted, not very rotated on the way through. If I was to show that impact position and follow through to some teaching pros around the world, I think they would start to guess of higher mid-handicaps to slightly higher. They could see some issues in striking.